Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mafia 1 Definitive Edition. If you guys enjoy this and you want to see more, just hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Harley, good to see you pal. Yeah, you too Gates. Well, I hope you all I think some bad's going to go down. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> Whoa. No, no. Okay. Oh, what? I told you we got to make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's going to be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're going to be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, that didn't go down well. How the hell did they know about this? Because you always shoot your mouth off. Gates took a bullet. Oh, they're coming back. Okay. This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear them out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, <coughs> check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Okay. Oh, no, back you up. We got more of them. Where are they? There are no uh, grenades? Okay. Where are they? Are they gonna pop out? Get over here now. It dropped over here. Anything useful? Oh, they didn't last long. The truck can't get through this. We gotta put it out. Look for extinguishers or something. I see fire sprinklers up on the ceiling. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Knew this wasn't over. Over here. Get in cover. Right there. He's dead. Go careful, Tom. There's no way that he's got. Get in there. 
Not moving. There we go. Well then. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, see him. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. Okay, I think we've had the last of them, I think. Hopefully. I think we lost them all. Yes. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. Though tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Oh, boy. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Waking up to him, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. <coughs> it took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri. He finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was the missing piece. How's that? Morello was always winding us up. 
but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Okay. Bon appetit. Go with his face and pasted it on his face. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. Okay. Oh, thank God for that. More wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don Solieri. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny. Oh, uh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? <laughs> See, please. And to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Oh no, is it gonna go in the going Isn't it gonna go down well? Bastard could have at least let me finish my wine. Hey Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! Going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Okay. Good idea ambushing us. Come on. Pass him down. Ugh! <sighs> 
on this kid you really saved my ass tom we gotta go boss the cops will be here soon i need a minute to catch my breath well let me get you back to the bar no not the bar we're going to see carlo that son of a bitch knew where i was going today and he calls in sick he set you up <laughs> to us tom you could have ended up just as dead yeah i know boss carlo's jacked up with some damon holbrook let's go see what he has to say about all this Oh boy, we've been set up, finally. After almost getting killed by a rat. Bass, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> You goddamn dirty grifter! You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. You okay, Buzz? Yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Go, uh, hit him. Armor. Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! Pardon me. They're going to kill me! Hey, we ain't finished with you! Come here. I can explain. Think about this, Tom. Please! Let me talk to the boss. I can explain everything. Uh, Tommy, you gotta know. Morello, he was gonna kill Mom. I had to do it. I had to. They made me do it, Tommy. Please, I can explain. There's only so many rules in this life. <laughs> wow. Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hopley recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Good. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. The crew we sent is dead. The restaurants all shot to hell. Stop your crying. Can't have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. Mm. So the Ari must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. Even 
hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell little boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. The complete bon appetit. start of something something big okay well i think i'm gonna leave it there for now if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see more just hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one